Hi there, it's Babs here for Madam So, and I'm going to show you how to use the braid foot, which is adjustable at the front, to produce different effects working with actual braid and also working with sequins. So let's see how we can get the most out of this simple foot from Madam So. Today I'm going to be taking through another foot from the Ultimate Presser Foot Collection and this time round it is the braiding foot and uh, I'm going to show you how to use it with braid but more excitingly I'm going to show you how to use it with these beautiful sequins and uh, basically once you can do those two you can apply that to any kind of embellishment. Um, the foot itself has a little screw at the side here. You can use the tool that came with your sewing machine to adjust that. You can then slide the face plate backwards and forwards to make this gap here larger or smaller depending upon the size of thread that you're working with. So for example, I would need to make it a lot smaller if I was going to be working with this particular braiding. However, I definitely need it to be this size for my sequins because otherwise they will not fit through the gap. So let's get started. A couple of things to note before we start. The thread is actually fed through this gap at the back here. You can't bring it through from the front because this is an enclosed space. And um, you will also need to raise the foot to thread your first piece of cord through. So it, it goes from the top down through this little V gap, which really is as simple as feeding it through the hole, pulling it out the back part of the foot and letting it run through this, this open hole at the back. We can now pick a stitch that we're going to use to sew over the top of our braiding. So I'm going to pick this one and um, that is actually a stretch stitch in blue in the center there so I shall just adjust the sewing machine accordingly and then we can start sewing. When sewing sequins make sure that they're fed into the machine so that the scales overlap facing you rather than facing the foot or else they'll get stuck every time you pass a new sequin. Secondly you want to have a nice straight stitch and a nice long stitch. You need to pull them away from you and, uh, and then pull through so that you can see how you've sewn them in place. Now this is actually set to sew right down the edge rather than down the centre. And this is what a zigzag looks like. Again, remember to pull from the front to the back, which gives us a zigzag stitch and a stitch down the side. Now, if you are overlapping your your uh, your sequins, then this side stitch effect would be very very useful. If, however, you just want to have a nice gleam of uh, of shine in a one off in a one-off location, then the zigzag done with an invisible thread rather than this nice solid one so you can see where I'm working would be perfect. I hope that tutorial was useful to you and if so, please subscribe to the Madam So channel for more tutorials and information on the Ultimate Presser Foot Set. I'll see you around for the next tutorial. Bye for now.